In this lesson, I'll show you how to calculate the mean for a frequency distribution. The question reads, the table to your right shows the students' response to the question, how stressed have you felt in the last two and a half weeks on a scale of 0 to 10, with 0 being not stressed at all and 10 being as stressed as possible. Use the frequency distribution to find the mean of the stress level rating. So with that being said, let's take a look at this chart and understand what it's telling us. Two people out of the total number of people that were surveyed said they had a stress level of zero. In this row we're being told 13 said that they had a stress level of six. Now with that being said, what you do when you're given a frequency distribution, if you're looking for the mean, you'll use this formula, where the mean is equal to the sum of this number multiplied to that number, and you keep doing that for each row and you add them up. So let's go ahead and do that. We have the mean represented as x bar is equal to the sum, let's take the first few rows as an example, 0 times 2 plus 1 times 1 plus 2 times 3, and you keep doing this. So you would do 3 times 12, 4 times 16, all the way to 10 times 14. And if you do that correctly, your expression for the numerator should look like this. Now that we're done that, the next thing that you do is you will divide this by the value of n. To find the value of n, you have to count all of these numbers. So you have to sum up every number in this column. So 2 plus 1 plus 3 plus 12 all the way to 14. And if you do this correctly, your n value should be 151. 151 is the total number of people surveyed for this question. Now that we have everything we need, it's a simple matter of substituting all of these values into your calculator and dividing by 151. It turns out that the numerator, if you multiply and add all of these numbers up, you should end up with 975. So 975 divided by 151, let's use our calculator, 975 divided by 151 gives us an average of 6.45 and notice that we have this long line this means that it is repeating so we'll round it to 6.46 and there you have it that is how to calculate the mean for a frequency distribution